Okay, it's been a couple of minutes, not too long. I made it to floor 99. Um, so let me rearrange my badges a bit. Don't think I need Sleepy Stomp. Don't need Charge. Um, I think we're on some fire. I was just doing to get slightly more SP because I was using special moves a bit. Um, I don't think I'm going to need Quake Hammer. Hopefully I don't. Uh, keep the damage dodges on. Fire drive is fine. Um, I don't think we're gonna need zap tap for this fight. Take out the flower savers. On defend pluses. Uh, I think I will take off one of the power pluses. Gives me 12 BP to work with. Could put some on my partners. Let's give one to a partner. I'm feeling fine for Mario, that way I don't get uh, stunned at all. Uh, if I did get put into danger, I guess I'll put a close call on the last stand. Power rush, I guess. I don't really know what else to put on. I'm gonna have a Goombella on. We'll see what this monster is. Is there nothing? Oh, don't tell me there's nothing here. Maybe... Flurry? Oh, don't tell me I wasted this time for nothing. So I mean, I have to look it up. I was kind of hoping not to look up stuff for this game. Oh, come on, seriously? There's nothing here? Oh man, <laughs> I don't want to have to come back here again. Oh, there's nothing stopping me. I'm, mm, I guess I'm gonna have to check that later. That's a bummer. Dang it. And this guy's just gonna take me to 50 again. Well, that was a, that was a waste. Um, I guess I'll check real quick what I'm supposed to do then. How else are you supposed to find out about this? Oh, okay. So I don't know how I would have known this, but apparently one of the it's in Goomba enemies. One of the enemies I haven't tattled, but it's the uh uh. Like the fake enemy that the battle master puts up, I would have not have done that. <laughs> I was thinking at first maybe, but I wasn't too sure about that. If it counted as a, if you could even tattle. But yeah, I guess so. So I guess I'll go do that and then find out what this other enemy is. This is right next to Bone Tails music, so I would assume it had to be like some secret boss. I think this is the second time we've done this. Did it early on in the beginning of the playthrough, and now doing this again.
It's cool that it teaches you how to do stylishes in this area. This is enemy. Oh, Wacka. What the hell? Oh my god. I need to make Wacka disappear. <laughs> oh my god. Um. I think I'm gonna do this tomorrow. <laughs> I don't wanna do this again. Uh. So I guess I'll start off the next recording of me being up Wacka and then went back to the pit. And then I guess it'll be mashed in with this episode or something? I don't know. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Alright, let's go Wacka Wacka then. So, I think I've gotten like, maybe one or two Wacka Mumps. I mean, I can see how people stumble across this eventually. It's not like, completely... A noble because the wacka bumps are just such a good item. So you're gonna like want to get as many as you can. I didn't get it mainly because um do they have anything cool to say? <laughs> um The reason I didn't do it is just because I I, I feel kinda sad just seeing Wacka disappear and you there's a certain amount of whack -a bumps you can get, so I just opted not to go for it. I haven't really been using the really good items all that much, so it's also another reason. Thankfully, it's pretty easy. So this is something I found out that you could, when you withdraw stuff, you can sell them here. So that's kind of cool. I never knew about this. Although it's still kind of slow though. I kind of wish you could like multi-select stuff to sell. Just thought I'd point that out. Alright, now I'm just gonna whack whack a bunch.
Okay, Wack is gone now, so hopefully soon I'll get a email about a new creature in the pit. Maybe I'll sleep at an inn and maybe that'll trigger it. I don't know. It has to be some sort of time after making Wacker disappear. So once again, I'll have to go through the pit again <laughs> and cut all that stuff out because it's boring. Going through the pit is fun the first time, but after a while, just same old, same old. I guess I could go check the other towns and see if there's anything new. Any other partners you might see while I wait. So weird to see this shop without any badges. <laughs> Just bought them all, so. Kinda weird seeing it that way. But I have all the cash to spend it on. He's about over a thousand. Um, yeah, I don't know when it's supposed to trigger this event. I already have all the conditions, because Wacka's not there anymore. Wait, did it say only five additions? Huh. But there's more stories. That's interesting that it didn't uh, have all of them. Hmm. Maybe it's a... Uh, some of it accumulates more. Like maybe one book has a uh, Two or three stories from Luigi, and then some don't. Um, so I guess I'll just be waiting for that email, because I think that's the trigger for me to go into the pit again. So otherwise it won't uh, trigger. I guess I'll just cut to whenever I get that, and then we'll head to the pit, and then you'll see me fight Wacka, I guess. So I decided to just uh, use a hint here, and this is what I got. So I think that's an indicator that he's going to be in the pit, but I'm still kind of waiting for that email.
I think I got it. Okay. <laughs> Don't mention this newsletter. Okay, well, I guess I'll get started on it then. It took a while. I was reading some of the Luigi stories and the... I was reading it from him and from the book. And I found something interesting. So, apparently, in the uh, final part of finding Princess Eclair for Luigi, he had to fight the Chestnut King. But apparently, the Chestnut King wasn't the real villain of the game. Or for his story. Is actually the, uh, so the Chestnut King was apparently, uh, Princess Eclair's husband, or soon-to-be husband. And the real villain was the person who introduced Luigi to the whole old deal, Minister of Crepe. And so he was the real final boss for Luigi, and Luigi was super bummed to find out that Princess Eclair had a fiancé or husband I think that's kind of funny. And you don't find out that part until reading the books. And also, the books, there's only five. Uh, some of them put together multiple uh, stories from Luigi together. And you don't find out all that until you read the fifth book that Luigi withheld some information. Okay, so I'm going to go through the pit again. And then I'll uh, cut to when we actually reach floor 100. Alright guys, <clears throat> alright I'm back at <laughs> floor 99 so hopefully things will go good now. Uh, I level up a couple times, I just put them into BP. Um, let's see what I should have here. Don't think we're going to need Quake for this fight. Uh, I found a damage charge on a Chain Chomp when I was coming up here and so I stole it using Mouse. Now I got three damage dodges, it's super nice. Um, I guess I'll keep Fire Drive, it's just a good badge to equip. I'll get rid of the FP Plus, Fa Flower Finder, don't need, Zap Tap, I don't think I need. Keep the Flower Savers, put a Feeling Fine, and a Defend Plus. Is there something I can get rid of?
Machine was get real fire drive. Just put on the other defend plus. Kind of just want to be tanky and see what, everything that this fight has to offer. It's been like way over an hour already. <laughs> way longer than I was expecting this to be. We talk. Oh, I have to hit this guy. I'm sorry, buddy. I wonder if you were in front of him, if you could have collected that wacka. <laughs> also, this music. Uh oh. Well, why is that Wackabump next to him? Uh, let's title Goombella. It, it, what's pretty funny is like a lot of ROM hacks of N64 Paper Mario, they always have Wacka as a, a boss and he's really strong. Okay, so he has 108 HP, 10 attack, and 1 defense. This music's really good, though. Oh, I see. So does he drop it every time you, like, hit him? So, like, power bounce would not be a good thing to do here? Uh, okay, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I wonder if he takes, like, burn damage, if that counts as extra damage. I'm gonna go for the power lift. Let's just check out what he does. It's funny the whack -a bomb stays there. How does he- he just eats it? Oh, he uses the bumps themselves! <laughs> okay... I think I'll use, uh, Goombella to Rally Wink. I'll just hammer with Mario. I wonder if you can super guard these. Oh, you know what? I could probably boost sheet. I got a couple of those. That way you can disregard the whole watch out for Quacka. Oh, yeah, so every time he does get hit, that's crazy. Oh, and he can heal himself too, that's cool. Oh, it doesn't use all of them in one turn. Okay. Uh, let's swap out Goombella for... Blue Liabert. Nice. So, either he uses a turn to eat one, or he uses a turn to throw all of them. That's interesting. It'd be funny if Yoshi would be able to eat one of the bumps in battle. Let's 
gonna be funny. <laughs> Just seeing all the bumps come out. Is there a limit to all these bumps? So far, there's six. You're gonna throw them all away? Yep. Yeah, assuming those each do 10 damage, that's pretty good. I only got one more Bushi, right? Okay. Ooh, a red rack whack a bump. <laughs> Gonna guess that does more damage. Let's see if we can actually shrink this guy. Make him a mini whack up. Oh, that just made things worse. <laughs> oh, they some that hide behind each other. That's interesting. Oh, thankfully that's all hitting Mario. Okay. Um, I only have the one life shirt. <laughs> There's a meteor. So speaking of whack bumps, might as well use my own. Oh, you know what? I should have done charge. Oh, that would have been really good. Oh, well, I think we're almost done here. I guess Bobbery would be best. Hmm. Let's defend for now, because I don't want to get those red whack -a bumps What the heck? Oh. Oh, I see what he's doing. He wants to get all those whack -a bumps out for himself. Okay, I'll use Boo Sheet if I see those red bumps again. Okay, so far it's just the regular ones. I'm gonna choose not to attack with Bobbery just because... Ah, oh, there goes Bobbery. Um... Because I want a partner to ha heal me, or give me a boost sheet in case there was a red one. Okay. Player's gonna give me a boost sheet then. Come on, just attack Mario. Yes. Goombella's still buff. Let's, uh, multi-bonk with her. We'll have Mario finish it off. Nice. Thankfully, I was able to do this in one try. <laughs> um... I think about doing Art Attack, but I don't think it's a good idea. Unless he has, like, a desperation move. Nope. Okay. That was fun. <laughs> those, those red whack -a bumps are pretty messed up, though. <gasps> a golden whack -a. <laughs> It sadly cannot be eaten. So, do I get anything for completing the title log? It's finally whacking back. Okay, so I think that's everything in the game. Attack of the Wacka. I like how the the epic intro. Well, this is pretty cool. Um, so I guess it's gonna be it for this series. It's kind of funny how I ended my last Thousand Year Door series after finishing the pit, and I'm finishing it again <laughs> with the pit. Uh.
you've had Gumbella tattle on every kind of enemy. Your title log is now bursting with villainous secrets and juicy bad guy gossip. The title trophy. And we collected everything we can get. Wait, what? They actually gave you something? Oh, that's cool. Okay, well, I guess we're not going to end it here. Let's go see what this is. I'm guessing it's just another fake badge. Or a fake reward. It's like, oh, you completed everything. But maybe I'm wrong. I'm hoping I'm wrong. Maybe you get... Uh, it's like a badge that lets you be cold. I don't know. They actually gave you something that's cool, but they give you a real reward for underpercenting the game. Oh, what's this? A badge? Wait, are you serious? Oh my god, <laughs> look at that. Uh, I assume this doesn't matter with this yet. That's cool. <laughs> Look at me, Cumbella. I'm gold. Well, I think that's a pretty fun way to end this game, is getting this cool skin. Although there's not really much to do now. <laughs> I've beaten everything. Oh. Hope you guys enjoyed this series. I enjoyed playing it. See you guys next time. Okay, guys. Uh, I just realized one last thing I forgot to do is we forgot to talk to the uh, quiz boo. Cause I think he might have had one last thing. So let's go check him out and uh, finish off this series for good. Bub's Falter. Named Cold Bob, which is, I think it's Sylvia. All those other <laughs> options are pretty bad. Oh, that's uh, space food. The crystal star was found there. <laughs> I'm not gonna bother with the items that he gives, uh, but just making sure that. Is that the last one? Oh, there's one. Still more. Guessing this is the last set of three. Gloomtail believes... What is Hooktail in relation to Gloomtail? She's the younger sister. Oh, Colorado. Corvallis. Uh, there's, there's a core, a crescent moon, but not a full moon. There isn't a mushroom, it's not jabby, so it has to be this puny. Oh, no, it's a shroom, that's not bad. I think that's it, because I think that was post game. It's either post game or chapter 8. Oh, still more? Maybe he resets? Ooh, 15 questions. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this. Uh, I think she's a junior. I believe it's Pungry. Oh. I think it was Pungent. Okay, Gumbella was a junior. Pungent the shopkeeper. I think this is the first time I got one of those questions wrong. Uh, Poddler. The Grim Death Burglars? Should be the hand... the handed overs, right? Because they burgle you. 
It was the 2005. Um, let's see, I think there was three in the first tree, two on the other. Say 11? No. Oh. I wonder, I don't know if it's worth going back for that. I guess I could look at some of my old footage, but... I'm trying to think... Because there's, I think, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six trees. I don't know how many crows that would be. go with 10. Okay, it was 10. 12 seemed like too much. Uh, I remember Torque, he's the Buzzy Beetle. Bluey was, yeah. Hefty was the guy we found on the train. Screamy, I think, was that little onion-looking guy. I think the Smorgs were originally based off of. Which of these does not have a spike on its head? Bristles do... Spanias do. Spanias don't. Spanias and Spanias do. She likes uh, sweets. Oh, wait, no, that's her sister. Uh. Oh wait, no, it'd be honey mushrooms, I think. Yeah. Sweets. What? <laughs> I, I don't know this. Um, so it had to be like close to sunset, right? So maybe... Six o'clock? Ah. Oh. <laughs> That's something I would never pay attention to. Maybe, is that had to be five or seven? Because I, I wouldn't guess three o'clock is when it becomes sunset. Okay, uh... Let's try five o'clock? Okay, it was five o'clock, okay. It's the name of the far outpost bob -omb that judges the personalities by studying people's mustaches. I think his name was Fred? Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> I don't- I don't really remember the, uh, the bombs from Far Post. They're pretty forgettable. They don't make that place worth going back to, so... Why would I need to remember them? I'm getting a swab, maybe? Ah, oh, well, I get two more choices. Guess I'll go for Rob next. Although that seems a little too obvious, because characters don't really have, like, regular names in this game, and Rob seems too regular of a name. Okay, um... Rob or Knob? I'll go for Knob. <laughs> it was Rob. If it isn't Rob, like, <laughs> must have guessed wrong before, but yeah, Rob. These enemies can only be found in x -Not Fortress. You don't find that in x -Not Fortress. Um... I would assume cross yucks, right? Because there's the like special ones made to protect Grotus. Can only be found in the Palace of Shadow. Uh, so I believe Dark Wizards are the only ones. These two are pit only. And Gloombas are pit. How many of his partners wear a hat? I think it's just Bobbery. Somebody else wears a hat? I guess Gumbella kinda does. Doesn't Bobbery wear a cap? Oh, Vivian has a hat too. Okay. Yeah, if you count this excavator thing as a hat, then yeah. Go 
completely forgot Vivian had a hat. Okay, so the answer is three. <laughs> the final question. It was 200. The first question that he asked me before. Oh, money, money. Huh. So this is a way to get it. Because normally how you get money, money is you buy it in the uh, Pianta parlor, but I guess that's a cool way to get it. Um... So does he, what does he do now? Does he just give quizzes of the same stuff? Oh, okay. I, I, I guess I could see if it's the same at least. But when he says something average, it means it's not going to be good. Okay, yes, it's the same quiz. Hmm. I guess that's it. See you guys.